Beat It from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at em.wikipedia.org. Beat It is a song by American singer Michael Jackson from his Styx studio album, Thriller, released in 1982. It was written by Jackson and produced by Jackson and Quincy Jones. Jones encouraged Jackson to include a rock song on the album, though Jackson had never previously shown an interest in the genre. Jackson later said, quote, I wanted to write a song, the type of song I would buy if I were to buy a rock song. That is how I approached it, and I wanted the children to really enjoy it the school children, as well as the college students. It includes a guitar solo by Eddie Van Halen. Following the successful thriller singles The Girl Is Mine and Billie Jean, Beat It it was released on February 14, 1983, as the album's third single. It peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, staying there for three weeks. It also charted at number one on the Billboard Hot Black Singles chart. Billboard ranked the song number five for 1983, and it is certified five times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. With over seven million copies sold worldwide, it is one of the best-selling singles of all time. Beat It was a number one hit in Europe, reaching number one in Spain and the Netherlands. The Beat It music video, which features Jackson bringing two gangsters together through the power of music and dance, helped establish Jackson as an international pop icon. The single, along with its music video, helped make Thriller the best-selling album of all time. Beat It has been cited as one of the most successful, recognized, awarded, and celebrated songs in the history of popular music, both the song and the video had a large impact on pop culture. Beat It received the 1984 Grammy Award for Record, record of the Year and Best Male Rock Vocal Performance, as well as two American Music Awards. It was inducted into the Music Video Producers Hall of Fame. Rolling Stone ranked Beat It number 344 on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time the 81st greatest guitar song. It was included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. Contents, production and composition, release and reception, music video, live performances, legacy, format and track listing, credits and personnel, charts, certifications, Beat It 2008, Fall Out Boy version, and Eat It parody. Note the category format and track listing, charts and any subcategories listing charts, and category certifications have all been omitted from this recording. Section 1, Production and Composition. Beat It was composed by Michael Jackson for his Thriller album. Producer Quincy Jones had wanted to include a rock and roll song in the vein of the next My Sharona, though Jackson reportedly had never previously shown interest in the genre. Jackson first worked on a demo version of the song with musicians at his home studio. The drum part was programmed on a drum machine and the bass line was a combination of electric bass guitar and Bell Labs Digital Synthesizer Synergy Keyboard. This hybrid bass style was retained for the main recording session. The song is played in the key of E flat minor at a moderately fast tempo of 138 beats per minute. In the song, Jackson's vocal range is B flat 3 to A flat 5. Upon hearing the first recorded vocals, Jones stated that it was exactly what he was looking for. The song begins with 
seven distinct synthesizer notes played on the Synclavier digital synthesizer, with Tom Baller credited for the Synclavier performance on the song. The intro is taken note for note from a demo LP released a year before The Incredible Sounds of Synclavier 2, first published in 1981 by Denny Jagger, Creative Services, Inc., and sold by New England Digital, makers of the Synclavier. The drums were played by Toto co-founder Jeff Porcaro. Jermaine Jackson had suggested the inspiration of Beat It and its video came from the Jackson family experiencing gang activity in Gary, Indiana. Quote, from our front window, we witnessed about three bad rumbles between rival gangs. The lyrics of Beat It have been described as a, quote, sad commentary on human nature, end quote. The line, don't be a macho man, is said to express Jackson's dislike of violence, while also referring to the childhood abuse he faced at the hands of his father, Joseph. Eddie Van Halen's guitar solo. Eddie Van Halen, lately guitarist of hard rock band Van Halen, was asked to add a guitar solo. When initially contacted by Jones, Van Halen thought he was receiving a prank call. Having established that the call was genuine, Van Halen used a Hartley Thompson amplifier, borrowed from guitarist Alan Holdsworth, and recorded his guitar solo, free of charge. I did it as a favor, the musician later said. Quote, I was a complete fool, according to the rest of the band, our manager, and everyone else. I was not used. I knew what I was doing. I don't do something unless I want to do it. Van Halen recorded his contribution following Jones and Jackson arriving at the guitarist's house with a skeleton key version of the song. Fellow guitarist Steve Lucaser recalled, quote, Initially, we rocked it out as Eddie had played a good solo, but Quincy thought it was too tough, so I had to reduce the distorted guitar sound, and that is what was released. Two versions of the solo were recorded, Van Halen reported in 2015 that he also rearranged the song and asked Jones to edit the chord so he solo could be in the key of E. Right before Van Halen's guitar solo begins, a noise is heard that sounds like somebody knocking on a door. It is reported that the knock was a person walking into Van Halen's recording studio. Another story has claimed that the sound was simply the musician knocking on his own guitar. The sound, however, is that of Jackson knocking on a drum case, as he is credited in the album's liner notes. The engineers were shocked during the recording of Van Halen's solo to discover that the sound of his guitar had caused the monitor speaker in the control room to catch on fire, causing one to exclaim, This must be really good! Release and Reception Beat It was released in early 1983, following the successful chart performances of The Girl Is Mine and Billie Jean. Frank DiLeo, the vice president of Epic Records, convinced Jackson to release Beat It while Billie Jean was heading towards number one. DiLeo, who later became Jackson's manager, correctly predicted that both singles would remain in the top ten at the same time. Billie Jean remained atop the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks, before being toppled by Come On Eileen, which stayed at number one for a single week, before Jackson reclaimed the position with Beat It. Quote from Greg Burke The uncredited guitarist who whipped out the fluttering, squealing solo on this ode to macho cowardice was Eddie Van Halen, the aerodynamic metal flight punk crossover fuel that would boost the success of Thriller. A gimmick Jackson would flog later with spots from Slash and Carlos Santana. Without the Van Halen precedent, there might have been no collaboration of Run DMC and Aerosmith on the rap rock version of Walk This Way. Billy Jean and Beat It occupied top five positions at the same time, a feat matched by very few artists. The single remained at the top of the Hot 100 for a total of three weeks. The song also charted at number one on the 
United States R&B Singles Chart, and number 14 on the Billboard Top Tracks Chart in the U.S. Billboard ranked it at the number 5 song for 1983. Eat It also claimed the top spot in Spain and the Netherlands, reached number 3 in the UK, and the top 20 in Austria, Norway, Italy, Sweden, and Switzerland. In a Rolling Stones review, Christopher Connell describes Beat It as the best song on Thriller, adding that it, quote, ain't no disco, AOR track. He notes of the nifty dance song, quote, Jackson's voice soars all over the melody. Eddie Van Halen checks in with a blistering guitar solo. He could build a convention center on the backbeat. All Music, Stephen Thomas, Errol Wine, states that the song is both tough and scared. Robert Chris Gow claims that the song has Eddie Van Halen, quote, wielding his might in the service of anti-macho. Slant Magazine observed that the song was an uncharacteristic dalliance with the rock idiom. The track also won praise from Jackson's biographer, J. Randy Borelli who stated that the song was, quote, rambunctious. Beat It has been recognized with several awards. At the 1984 Grammy Awards, the song earned Jackson two of a record eight awards, Record of the Year, and Best Male Rock Vocal Performance. The track won the Billboard Music Award for Favorite Dance Slash Disco 12-inch LP in 1983. The single was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, a few months after its release, for shipments of it at least 1 million units. In 1989, the standard format single was recertified platinum by the RIAA, based on the revised sales level of 1 million units for platinum singles. The total number of digital sales in the U.S. as of August 2018 stands at 4 million. Music video. The music video for Beat It helped establish Jackson as an international pop icon. The video was Jackson's first treatment of black youth and the streets. Both Beat It and Thriller are notable for their mass choreography of synchronized dancers, a Jackson trademark. The video, which cost Jackson 150000 to create after CBS refused to finance it, was filmed on Los Angeles' Skid Row, mainly on locations on East 5th Street around March 9, 1983. To add authenticity to the production, but also to foster peace between them, Jackson had the idea to cast members of rival Los Angeles street gangs, Crips and Bloods. In addition to around 80 genuine gang members, the video which is noted for opening up many job opportunities for dancers in the U.S., also featured 18 professional dancers and four break dancers. Besides Jackson, Michael Peters, and Vincent Patterson, the cast included Michael Dale Lorenzo, Stoney Jackson, Tracy Guns, Tony Fields, Peter Tram, Rick Stone, and Cheryl Song. The bar location shown in the latter part of the first minute of the video was also featured 13 years earlier in the gatefold and on the back cover of The Doors' 1970 album, Morrison Hotel. Coincidentally, the name of that Skid Row bar, The Hard Rock Cafe, was also the inspiration for the London original of the famous chain of restaurants begun in 1971. The video was written and directed by Bob Giraldi, produced by Ralph Cohen, Anthony Payne, and Mary M. Ensign, through production company Gas. The section of video released for the Thriller album, it was choreographed by Michael Peters, who also performed alongside Vincent Patterson, as one of the two lead dancers. Despite some sources claiming otherwise, Jackson was involved in creating some parts of the choreography. Jackson asked Giraldi, at the time already an established commercial director, but who had never directed a music video, come up with a concept for the Beat It video because he really liked a commercial Giraldi had directed for WLS-TV in Chicago, about a married couple of two elderly blind people 
who instead of running from a rundown neighborhood all the other white people had fled from, chose to stay and throw a block party for all the young children in the area. Contrary to popular belief, the concept of the video was not based on the Broadway musical West Side Story. In reality, Geraldine drew inspiration from his growing up in Patterson, New Jersey. The video had its world premiere on MTV during prime time on March 31st, 1983. Neither Beat It nor Billie Jean were, as is often claimed, the first music video by an African-American artist to be played on MTV. Soon after its premiere, the video was also running on other video programs including BET's Video Soul, Superstation's WTBS's, Night Tracks, and NBC's Friday Night Videos. In fact, Beat It was the first video shown on the latter's first ever telecast on July 29, 1983. The video opens with the news of a fight circulating at a diner. The scene repeats itself at a pool hall where gang members arrive via foot, forklift, and out of sewers, while the video's titular song begins to play. The camera cuts to Jackson lying on a bed as he contemplates the senseless violence. Jackson noticed rival gangs and leaves. Jackson dons a red leather J. Parks brand jacket and dances his way towards the fight through the diner and pool hall. A knife fight is taking pl place between two gang leaders in a warehouse. They dance battle for an interlude of music until Jackson arrives. He breaks up the fight and launches into a dance routine. The video ends with the gang members joining him in the dance, agreeing that violence is not the solution to their problems. The video received recognition through numerous awards. <laughs> The American Music Awards named the short film their favorite pop slash rock video and their favorite soul video. The Black Gold Awards honored Jackson with the Best Video Performance Award. The Billboard Awards recognized the video with seven awards. Best Overall Video Clip, Best Performance by a Male Artist, Best Use of Video to Enhance a Song, Best Use of Video to Enhance an Artist's Image, Best Choreography, Best Overall Video, and Best Dance Slash Disco 12 Inch. The short film was ranked by Rolling Stone as the number one video in both their critics and readers poll. The video was later inducted into the Music Video Producers Hall of Fame. The music video of the song appears on the video albums Video Greatest Hits, His Story, His Story on Film, Volume 2, Number Ones, on the bonus DVD of Thriller 25 and Michael Jackson's Vision. Live Performances Jackson performed Beat It live with his brothers during the Jackson's Victory Tour. On July 14, 1984, the brothers were joined on stage by Eddie Van Halen, who played the guitar in his solo spot. The song became one of Jackson's signature songs. He performed it on all of his world tours, Bad, Dangerous, and History. The October 1st, 1992 Dangerous Tour performance, including Beat It, was included in the Michael Jackson The Ultimate Collection box set. The DVD was later repackaged at Live in Bucharest, The Dangerous Tour. Jackson also performed the song on Michael Jackson's 30th anniversary special a concert celebrating the musician's 30th year as a solo performer. The performance featured Slash as the song's guest guitarist. A highlight of Jackson's solo concert toy performances of the song is that he would begin the song on a cherry picker, which he would also later use of Earth Song during the History World Tour, after performing Thriller. Another live version of the song is available on DVD Live at Wembley, July 16, 1988. The song would have also been performed at part of the This Is It concerts, which were canceled due to Jackson's death. Legacy Jackson's Beat It has been cited as one of the most successful, recognized, 
awarded and celebrated songs in the history of pop music. Both the song and the video had a large impact on pop culture. The song is said to be a pioneer in black rock music and is considered one of the cornerstones of the Thriller album. In addition, Eddie Van Halen has been praised for adding, quote, the greatest guitar solo, helping Beat It become one of the best-selling singles of all time. Shortly after its release, Beat It was included in the National Highway Safety Commission's anti-drunk driving campaign, Drinking and Driving Can Kill a Friendship. The song was also included on the accompanying album. Jackson collected an award from President Ronald Reagan at the White House in recognition for his support of the campaign. Reagan stated that Jackson was, quote, proof of what a young person can accomplish through a lifestyle free of alcohol or drug abuse. People young and old respect that. And if Americans follow his example, then we can face up to the problem of drinking and driving, and we can, in Michael's words, beat it. Frequently listed in greatest song polling lists, Beat It was ranked as the world's fourth favorite song in a 2005 poll conducted by Sony Ericsson. Over 700,000 people in 60 different countries cast their votes. Voters from the UK placed Billie Jean at number one, ahead of Thriller, with a further five of the top ten being solo recordings by Jackson. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine placed Beat It in the 337th spot on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. The song was featured in films such as Back to the Future Part 2, Zoolander, and Undercover Brother. When re-released as part of the Visionary campaign in 2006, Beat It charted at number 15 in the UK. A remix of Too Bad is featured on Blood on the Dance Floor, History in the Mix, containing a sample of Beat It, as well as a rap by John Forte and a guitar solo by Wyclef Jean. Credits and personnel, adapted from the thriller liner notes. Performers, Michael Jackson, lead vocals, background vocals, and drum case beater. Paul Jackson Jr., Rhythm Guitar. Steve Lukather, Lead Guitar and Bass Guitar. Eddie Van Halen, Guitar Solo. Steve Porcaro, Synthesizer and Synthesizer Programming. Greg Filanganes, Rhodes and Synthesizer. Bill Wolfer, Keyboards. Tom Baylor, Sync Lavier, Jeff Porcaro, Drums, Greg Smith, Synergy Synthesizer, Production, Jackson, Writing, Composition, Co-Production, and Rhythm and Vocal Arrangement, Quincy Jones, Production and Rhythm Arrangements, Beat It 2008 for Thriller 25, Black Eyed Peas singer Will I Am remixed Beat It. The song, titled Beat It 2008, featured additional vocals by fellow Black Eyed Peas member Fergie. Upon its release in 2008, the song reached number 26 in Switzerland, the top 50 in Sweden, and number 65 in Austria. This was the second remix version of Beat It to get an official release following Moby's Submix, which was released on the Jam and Who Is It singles in 1992, as well as the They Don't Care About Us single in 96, and re-released as part of the Visionary Campaign. Reception Beat It 2008 received generally unfavorable reviews from music critics. Rob Sheffield a Rolling Stone claimed the song was a, quote, contender for the year's most pointless musical moment. Allmusic.com criticized Fergie for parroting the lyrics of Beat It back to a recorded Jackson. 
Blender's Kelly Fasana also noted that the Black Eyed Peas singer traded lines with Jackson. Why? she queried. Todd Gilchrist was thankful that the remix retained Eddie Van Halen's, quote, incendiary guitar solo, but added that the song, quote, holds the dubious honor of making Jackson seem masculine for once, and only in the context of Fergie's tough by way of Kid's incorporated interpretation of the tune. Tom Ewing of Pitchfork observed that Fergie's nervous reverence is a waste of time. Fall Out Boy version. American rock band Fall Out Boy covered Beat It. The studio version was digitally released on March 25, 2008 by Island Records as the only single from the band's first live album, Live in Phoenix, 2008. The guitar solo is played by John Mayer. In the United States, this song peaked at number 19 on the Billboard Hot 100 and reached number 21 on the now defunct Billboard Pop 100 chart, also charting internationally. The band has since regularly incorporated it into their set list at their shows. Eat It Parody In 1984, parodist Weird Al Yankovic released his parody song Eat It. Yankovic recorded the song with Jackson's permission. The song's music video mocked the Beat It short film scene for scene, with Yankovic mimicking Jackson's dance moves in a clumsy fashion. Jackson received royalties as Jackson was listed as co-writer of Eat It. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 onboarded license. This recording was accurate up to the latest version of the article on July 20th, 2021.